He is my son and very dear to me, and that's the only emotion I had for him from day one. I don't know any other way to live this relationship. I also have a lovely daughter-in-law, who is such a beautiful person and the best thing in the world is my granddaughter Misha. She is the most precious gift I have got from Shahid. I do not want to see a society where, should I ever have any, my granddaughters have their fingernails pulled out because they are wearing nail varnish. I will not program generic orchestrations but try to find original ones, when I play Richard Rogers songs, for example, I have Peggy Lee's original orchestrations that I got from her granddaughter for them. Perhaps the two greatest moments of my life were standing on the moon and being outside of the room when my granddaughter was born. We tend not to remember the worst. I've never used one word of profanity in front of my wife, or my daughter, or my granddaughter, or anybody else's wife. I miss my parents. But still, my granddaughter, my daughter, my grandma, you know, so it's very important for me. You lost your parents, but a new baby comes. It's like the cycle of fashion. To be able to take the next generation, my daughters, and my granddaughters, to better understand and respect the people in the outback and experience the wonders of our country, would definitely be one of my favorite duties. As a member of the Democratic Women's Working Group and co-chair of the Congressional Seniors Task Force, I will keep fighting for women's rights until they are completely secured. My daughters and granddaughters and millions of women and girls nationwide deserve our tireless efforts until we become a country where there is truly equality for all. My granddaughter's birth has made me want to create things she will love. I have a grandson who's both really interested in art and all things mechanical so I think he'll get a huge kick out of Apollo 13 someday. And I think my granddaughters will enjoy it splash. I have been singularly blessed to be a granddaughter to one of the most accomplished classical vocalists of her time, daughter to one of the most ravishingly beautiful actresses ever, and wife to the greatest actor. What more can I desire? I am an old geezer, a grandpa kind of a guy. I was born October 19, 1931. I have gray hair, a beard, and a little pot belly. I have two children who are over 30 years old and a sweet little granddaughter who is 11 years old. I am a granddaughter of immigrants, put myself through college as a waitress, and I started my career as a computer programmer. People forget that I am the granddaughter of a person named Nanabai Bot, who had made more than 150 odd films. He was the person to introduce the double role phenomenon in Indian movies. The joys of my life are my granddaughters. They are beautiful. You don't have to believe me. You can ask my wife. She'll tell you. It's very difficult to have a conversation about yourself when you're the granddaughter of Audrey Hepburn, as it was difficult for me to have a conversation about something without, what was she like? What was she really like? I am proud to be the granddaughter and daughter of immigrants who were brave enough to leave their homes and come to a whole new world with a different language and culture and immerse themselves fearlessly to start a better life for themselves and their families. I was never raised as the daughter with vitiligo or the granddaughter with vitiligo or the cousin with vitiligo. I was just Chantel. So I have four daughters, about ten granddaughters, and five grandsons. I cooked at the White House for Easter, last year, with Michelle Obama. But it more had to do with cooking from the organic garden, and her message. I took my daughter and granddaughter there, and they were really charming, it was great. I found that in places where women have not really been afforded full rights yet, for instance, in the Middle East, even very conservative politicians in the region will say, you know, my daughter would really like to meet you, or, would you send a note to my granddaughter? I am the granddaughter of an English woman. I love England and her people and, regardless of politics, consider you to be family, and always will. I don't want to be known as the granddaughter of the Hiltons. I want to be known as Paris. I write because I enjoy it and that I can give it to my granddaughter. I really found this campaign odious. I couldn't get up for it. The quality of the candidates and the campaign, I just found the whole thing second rate. I didn't know how to explain to my granddaughter that I was spending my dotage writing about Al Gore and George W. Bush. Teach your daughters, teach your granddaughters, everybody has to have something that they're good at where they can earn a living. I am grateful my own eternal companion served a mission in Hawaii before we were married in the Salt Lake Temple, and I am pleased that I have had three granddaughters serve full-time missions. I have to tell you, my seven-year-old granddaughter said to my daughter, her mother, so what's the big deal about Grandma Maddie having been Secretary of State? Only girls are Secretaries of State. Most of her lifetime, it's true. But at the time it really was a big deal.
Big Bird was the biggest star, I mean, children's favorite for a number of years. I have a 22-year-old granddaughter whose first words were Big Bird. The big publishers want someone they can send on the Jewish book circuit, somebody the old ladies can see marrying their granddaughters. But I was losing so much bone density that I would have been in grave danger. And I mean grave danger. If I had let it go just a few more years I could have broken my hip or spine just picking up my granddaughter. I have visited classrooms near military bases to learn more about what schools were doing to support their military kids. I met with teachers overseas to learn about the particular needs they face thousands of miles from America. And I listened to my own granddaughter, who dealt with her father's year-long deployment to Iraq. Not long before my mother died, I found a long-lost portrait of Jane Franklin's granddaughter, Jane Flagg, aged nine, oil on canvas, in the basement of a public library not a dozen miles from my mother's house. The thing that I hate the most is when people have prejudice, when they see me as the granddaughter of Benito Mussolini and not as Alessandra. That, really, I don't like. I didn't know my grandfather. I am me. My son died from cancer. My granddaughter died from cancer. I have a lot of reasons to think that reality is not a friendly neighborhood. And the stories that I tell distract me, and if I do the job right, they distract people from things that are happening to them that they wish had never happened. I'm the granddaughter of immigrants. I like Bootylicious, Survivor, my little granddaughter loves Survivor. I tell young people, including my granddaughter, there is no shortcut in life. You have to take it one step at a time and work hard, and you have to give back. I am the granddaughter of a Welsh coal miner who was determined that his kids get out of the mines. My dad got his first job when he was six years old, in a little village in Wales called Nantafillin, cleaning bottles at the Collier's Arms. I have everything that I could possibly want in life, from a gorgeous granddaughter and a wonderful wife, brilliant students, the best job anyone could hope for, and about half of my hair. Not the half I would have kept, but no one consulted me. Everybody thinks that this civilization has lasted a very long time but it really does take very few grandfathers granddaughters to take us back to the dark ages. It's easier to be the granddaughter of an icon than her daughter. I grew up the daughter of a local vicar and the granddaughter of a regimental sergeant major. We're the first not-white family to ever live in the governor's mansion. My son-in-law is Puerto Rican. I have a beautiful little granddaughter who is half Korean and half Latina. I'm the only white guy in the house. My favorite song will always be Layla by Derek and the Dominoes, because my granddaughter was named after it. I'm here not just as an actress but as a woman, an African-American, a granddaughter of Ellis Island immigrants, a person who could not have afforded college without the help of student loans and as one of millions of volunteers working to re-elect President Obama. My family truly believes they are better cooks than I am. They see me as Giada, not as a celebrity chef. To them I'm just me, their granddaughter, niece, etc., and they're older and wiser. I like that because it keeps you grounded. Sometimes, when I see my granddaughters make small discoveries of their own, I wish I were a child. You should feel good about making your home nicer for your family and your friends. You should feel great about cooking a good dinner and making a dress for a granddaughter, creating a beautiful birthday party. It's all part of life. The energy necessary to create a wormhole or to wrap time into nuts is incredible. It's not for us. It's maybe for our descendants who have mastered the energy of this technology. So if one day, somebody knocks on your door and claims to be your great-great-great-great-granddaughter, don't slam the door. Visit our website for more quotes, quoting.com.